Hey everybody, uh, Hulk Hogan Collectibles here, and I hope you enjoy this video because it is uh, an era in which is very important of uh, the Hulkster's career. Helped uh, launch the WWE to uh, different um, outlets. Uh, what you're looking at is a sticker book of uh, Hulk Hogan's Rockin' and Wrestling. 1985 and 1986, chances are, if you were a little kid eating cereal, you were doing it on your couch while watching this on a Saturday morning. Uh, that was the lunchbox, and I'm gonna try to make this sweet, uh, short and sweet. Uh, and uh, uh, if you don't like the video, feel free not to watch it. Otherwise, you're kind of a troll and have more time than me. Anyway, <laughs> um, uh, uh, no negativity whatsoever allowed here. All about positive energy here. And what you're looking at is really good positive uh, collecting. Uh, these pen sets, believe it or not, a pen set. These suckers go for well over $150 sometimes. There's a sticker book behind it. I'm not even going to try to move these because they're, they're a little sometimes hard to stand. Anyway, uh, that's the pen set with the eraser head. And what you're looking at right there is the um, Rock and Wrestling Puzzles. Move this guy. Boom shakalaka. Yeah, I'm corny. Anyway, um, now what you're looking at there is called the Sales Mini Racer. These were actually um, only 25 that were made. I have that on good authority by several people as well as networth.com. And uh, uh, basically, yeah, yeah they, I talked to uh, uh, someone that actually worked for the company and they, they actually gave these out to the salesman. Only uh, 25 that were made as far as I know. And um, yeah, I got this, uh, this sucker for 80 bucks, but I've seen them go for over 250. Um, and there's other erasers out there that um, are even more uh, rare. And uh, these guys were, you know, pretty mass produced. It's, you know, goes for about a hundred bucks. Uh, and uh, uh, back here, coloring books. I mean, you, you know, I, I don't even have all the Hulk Hogan uh, rock and wrestling stuff. I mean, you know, there was bed sheets, sleeping bags. I mean, phew, you know, like any dictator in history has said to any you, got, you history buffs out there, give me your children, meaning, you know, like education and all that stuff uh, and, and entertainment. Give me your children and I will show you the future. <laughs> and Vince McMahon knew that. That's why he had all the companies like LJN and, uh, you know, all the companies that put out uh, like this product. And these pen sets, by the way, are, are ultra rare. That sucker, you know, is well over $100. Anyway, uh, and these are some nice banners and stuff like that. Anyway, I kind of ran out of room and that's where I put those. Anyway, um, and, uh, you know, uh, these, I mean, Hulk Hogan Rock and Wrestling's uh, brand was uh, throughout 1985 and 1986. They put out a lot of product. And what you're seeing here is one of the four kites that were put out. This is the Grudge Match kite that has him and King Kong Bundy on it. I don't really want to... Yeah, he's, he's giving him an arm bar. Anyway, um, that's the 48-inch. And yet another 48-inch. That's the 44-inch. And that is the 53 inch um now the pose that he's making there's some useless information for you trivia time mikey style the uh pose he's making uh he also used as a finishing move in the movie no holds barred he called it like rip em or whatever it was um but he used this before this show out in japan several years prior which was actually his finishing move it was called the axe bomber he uh, used it sometimes when he followed the opponent, opponent right into the turnbuckle and wailed him with it, which actually knocked out uh, Antonio Noki. And he used it uh, against the ropes, kind of like a clothesline. But the Axe Bama was actually one of his like first finishing moves. Um, and uh, anyway, that was some useless information. I only bring that up because um, I still think he could have a last match. And if he goes old school and he gives that no good, you know, whoever, the Axe Bama... You know, he doesn't need to drop a leg. Anyway, sorry for the rant. Back to collectibles. Nobody really gives a crap what I think about you now. Anyway, um, so, I mean, the the product that they put out, I mean, the collectibles, this is uh, this is uh, new in the package. A lot of this is, a lot of it's uh, mint, near mint, 
excellent condition. Either or. Um, Hulk Hogan Collectibles uh, uh, presents to you the card game. <laughs> and then here's the uh, the training camp, which was like uh, poofy stickers and stuff. It's pretty cool. And you guys remember these? I mean, we saw these on He-Man or. Uh, I mean, our our little sisters had like Barbie things and stuff. Um, they were the magic slates. I love these. The 80s just made the coolest stuff. Um, you remember this? Like you draw on it. and Anyway, uh, pretty cool. And I remember seeing those in like Batman and you name it. Anyway, a bunch of different ones. Pretty cool. And look at that. Andre, Cindy Lauper, all kinds of people on these, um, and and uh, the the amount of uh, merchandise that was put out. I mean, you have like you know party favors and all kinds of stuff. Uh, it was just crazy. I mean, they they really just attacked Blitzkrieg. I mean, they just went everywhere. Um, kids, kids, kids. They just like monopolized monopolized uh, everywhere they could. Now what you're seeing in here is um, fellow collectible collectors usually don't part with items, but luckily my main man George out in Chi Town, which is a huge Hulkamaniac himself, has a, a so awesome, impressive, beautiful collection himself um, that rivals my own. But he parted with this uh, for you know a pretty penny. Anyway. Um, uh, and I and I thank him for that because uh, I really enjoy it uh, seeing it. I've never seen one before, um, and uh, it's a it's a mold kit. It's a it's a painting kit, and uh, it's just you know what I'm gonna bring this out because it, ah the other stuff's falling behind it. And, and, uh, anyway, it's a uh, it's basically you know a uh, a painting kit, and uh, you you know. You, it's a molding clay and uh, it's really cool I, I just never saw one before and I thought I'd spend a little extra time showing you that anyway now what you're about to see here I've never seen online I've never seen pictures of I've never seen on eBay or anything like that I've I have more than a half a dozen uh, different uh, shoes and sneakers of Hulk Hogan's, but these are the cream of the crop, as Macho Man would say. Hulk Hogan Rockin' and Wrestling 1986 sneakers. These are one of my more prized possessions, and I actually have two pair. I have them in these position, uh, in these displays uh, positions because. This also shows you the bottom of the one pair. I just think these are so neat, so rare, and uh, I mean, I don't get sneakers. I mean, some people spend thousands on sneakers like Air Jordans, um, you know, commemorative sneakers with a certain celebrity. And what do I always say about collectibles? It's a commodity. Hulk Hogan's a character, but Hulkamania is a brand. Just like the NASCAR guys and the football fanatics and the basketball guys. Elvis, Michael Jordan, whoever. It's a pop culture icon and Hulkamania is a brand. And it's a very successful one at that. Which makes collectibles a commodity. Just like stocks. Up and down, markets fluctuate, prices go up and down, depending on the time to buy, economic standards, you name it. But these are are just so rare, and that's a hologram, by the way. It really does change. And um, you know, I thought uh, you guys would uh, would get a kick out of of these, um, you know, uh, you know, rock and wrestling sneakers. I'm really proud of uh, one of my pride and joys uh, one of my arguably some of my most rare rare collectibles that uh, you know um, 
that I, I, I take pride in. Um, anyway, I hope you guys uh, like this video. Please, please, please um, like us on Facebook. How we started as a as a just a, you know fan page, uh, and I just uh, would appreciate it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well, which we're still you know um, trying to improve and better and uh, get together with uh, fellow toy collectors, um, collectors in general, fa wrestling fans, and Hulkamaniacs. Um, hope you enjoy more videos on the way.